Well, it seems that one of our Cedar 4x4s has got a bow in it. Pretty big crown in it, since you can't buy quality lumber anymore. I'm going to have to rip it to get it straight. And all that I'm doing is laying the chalk line down the timber along the edge. as far as I can on a straight line. Making sure I'm taking out the entire bow. This looks like it's right about there. So essentially that's what I got to do to get the bow out. Then I have to recut that notch on that end. trying to whittle it down with the hand plane but as you can see here I've got just too much to do and you know this cedar 4x4 is uh, it's too thick to try and force that bow out with a Tapcon type of screw I mean the screws I have are are a pretty beefy screw type concrete anchor but they're not going to pull the bow out of this. So. so, we have to modify modify the 4x4 to fit our needs. And I'll have to recut that notch. And I really only have to cut it to about here. The tapers from pretty much nothing to here. The rest of that's close enough.
basically we had to take this wedge out. And it had a little bit of a twist in it too, so we had to take just a skosh of a twist out of it. Okay, so we've got a little calm before the storm today. It's a beautiful day today, about, I don't know, 50 degrees or so. Um, and the snow is really melting. Uh, in a little bit, I'm going to have to go down to that crossing and check it. It's about ready to run over the top. I mean, the snow melt's just coming too fast and it's plugging it up. So it's nice, beautiful weather, but. You know, the ground's still kind of frozen and everything's just running off and it's going to cause some problems here. On top of that, we have forecasted 10 or 12 inches of snow uh, with 65 mile an hour winds. Um, starting tomorrow morning and into the next day and so all that new snow combined with all the melting and the water running is probably going to be an issue. So what I'd like to do before all that happens tonight real quick is get the last two uh, pieces of cedar mounted down to at least the perimeter of the barn and on this east side what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use some uh, some butyl weather seal tape on the bottom and outside because that side of the barn is really really close to the ground and, and it's it's uh, 
you know the slope is coming down into it so there's a pretty good chance that that those could get wet and I'll use that tape to kind of seal up um, I've got that butyl tape on the bottom of my posts and it wraps up the outside just a, an inch or so and then I'll put some more of that butyl tape on the outside of the posts especially on this side these posts over here on this side I still have that but it's not as critical one of my viewers kind of mentioned that butyl tape and in this situation over here it's probably going to be a pretty good idea so I think I'll go ahead and use it and it'll be on the bottom and the outside so you'll never see it it's going to be another snow moving day uh, tomorrow and the next day but man right now the sun's blazing it's beautiful So this is just basically butyl tape that you use for, you know, sealing up windows. And this is butyl. So the butyl tape as opposed to the rubber tape, the rubber based, asphalt based tape, this butyl tape will stick um, down at these temperatures. Actually, it's pretty nice today, but it'll stick down to 20 degrees. So. Today, it should really stick. And that should keep it pretty dry on the outside.
you can see, I've got a little bit of work ahead of me here. I'll try and film some of this if I can. I don't quite have a GoPro yet, so. But yeah, this is gonna take me a while. <laughs> 